this means fly box for the August 2019 intermediate box. We're going to tie this fly called a squirrel bait. So I wanted to get an articulated streamer that was small that I could fish small streams but also you know throw into the bank from a drift boat and this this fly is about half the size of maybe your typical articulated streamers and so it, it just works well um, in all those conditions and it's just something a little different so um, we're using the trailer hitch hooks and these things are awesome um, really simple to, to do articulated flies it's got a nice wide gap um, and they, they don't foul up or anything like that and we're also using the uh, metal heads so this is typically a little bit um, heavier than say your typical cone head and so it works really well and gives a nice profile to this fly. So we'll start with the back hook and then we're just using uh, 140 denier. So we'll just attach our thread and take it back to our tie-in point, which is directly above the barb of the hook. And that's where we'll, uh, we'll begin. So we'll start with our squirrel hair. I love this stuff for smaller streamers. It just has really cool coloration to it and it's just really easy to work with. So we'll just take this, uh, this is the back end of the hide. As you can see, the hair flows over. So we're gonna use that for the tail and just measure the hide so it's about the length of the hook shank and that's where we'll tie it in. And then we'll separate the hair and tie it in zonker style directly. Right, let's come back a little couple more turns right there. So we'll just tie the hide down with two or three wraps right there. And then we can uh, just pull it, pull it back, hold it back like that, and bring our thread right up underneath. Now the underbelly, I've experimented with lots of different things, chenilles and stuff, anything really works, but um, for this natural color, I've settled with just Arizona semi-seal dubbing, and this just gives it a lighter underbelly. If you notice a lot of fish, bait fish, are gonna have that lighter bottom to them so this this just gives that little shimmer and we'll just tie it in maybe like leech style so just build up and it's gonna be a little buggy that's great we'll just brush that out okay so let's tie this down again kind of zonker style so we'll just find that point just pinch it there with our left hand separate the hair with our right hand like so and then we can just drop our thread over about three times and just try to build a clean head and carefully come in there and snip that hide. And we'll just tie all that down. The front. Okay, so we can, uh, if you want, you can brush out this dubbing and pick it out and, and get it kind of flowing nice and along with the uh, squirrel hair. Now we're ready to attach the trailer hitch. So again, really simple. You just slide it up on there and um, the hitch part should be on top because if you notice there's a little dip and we'll use that oops, to uh, mount it into our vise. And that should secure that in there like that. And then we can begin working on the front part of the hook. We'll just continue on. Now I'm just working with the same piece of squirrel that I was using before and I'm going to tie that again, zonker style, and I just try to use that cut piece and uh, almost continued on to, from where I ended in the back fly. So we'll just separate the hair right there and secure that right on top. Like so. Okay. Now we can bring our thread right up underneath and we're just repeating those steps. We'll, we'll dub the underbody. I'm not going to dub the whole thing though, right to the eye. I'm going to go about halfway. And now let's secure down the squirrel right on top. And now we're not going to trim this. We're going to bring this thread up underneath. 
Now, have to be really careful. Remember, we're going to uh, attach this metal head. That's going to slide on right there. So we, we need a little space right there to work with. But we can build this area up, but we need about an eye length back that's fairly clear. So now I'm going to take this squirrel hide and just over the top away from me. We're going to make a couple of wraps going forward, and that will just build up this collar. So probably three wraps, three or four, and then we can uh, trim that off or tie that off. Hold it straight up in the air and drop your thread over with your left hand and give it a couple of good tight snugs. And then we can trim off that hide. All right, you might have a little bit showing there, and I might have got a little close to the front, but I think we're going to be okay. And we can actually come back over that hide. And that just creates a nice little more fullness to the fly. Now one thing I started adding was these uh, Whiting Brahma uh, hen saddles. Oops, bumped the camera there. So we're basically going to tie like a giant soft hackle. So if you just take one of these feathers by the tip, pull back the fibers. These feathers are super soft. And we'll secure that in. Trim off the tip of the feather and then just carefully wrap forward, making four or five wraps. And honestly, it's going to be like kind of messy. Sometimes these tr hairs get trapped as you wrap, so it'll all look fine here in just a minute. Okay, so it looks a little gnarly. Let's just pull everything back. Just comb it back and then just build a little thread right up over where you just wrapped it and that'll get all that flowing backwards like that so when it gets wet it looks pretty cool and adds to it so all right let's just whip finish right there I'm not too worried about all that because it's gonna just be covered up here in just a second okay so I'm just gonna take a drop of Zappa Gap and just uh, secure it right there on top We'll take our metal head, position that on there, and push back on it, and just hold it tight for 10-15 seconds and let that glue kick. Okay, now once it's kicked on there, let's just build a little thread down and just reattach your thread right there in front. And just make a bunch of tight wraps cleaning that head off and then just building a little little dam right there. Sometimes I like to use a different color thread like a red or an orange for a little hot spot or something. That, lo that looks pretty cool. And then, so to uh, add a little glue there, I like to use liquid fusion to glue the eyeballs in and to do this part. It's just cleaner than Zappa Gap and it dries clear. Um, you can use Zappa Gap or, or uh, UV glue or and really whatever glue you like, um, but I just found this stuff works pretty good. I just use my little trusted paper. Glue. 